Junction in Bradford. Then by 3 o'clock, it heads south along Highway 400, and it's over to Nobleton for 3.30. 4 o'clock, next stop, Bolton. Then the Olympic flame passes through the community of Nashville. 5 o'clock, you're going to see the torch in Kleinberg along Nashville Road. It will then be in Vaughan at 5.30. It travels to Brampton, where it's going to spend the night. Uh, that will be at about 6 o'clock for the final celebration of the day. That's to be held at Brampton's Gage Park Rink. For a more detailed look at the schedule of the Flames locations, please go to ctvolympics.ca. 1210, minus 5, there is some sunshine. <laughs> this is Toronto's Breaking News, CP24, live at noon. We'll take a look at the traffic and also the weather. A great day to carry the torch, wouldn't you say? Here is a live shot right now, leaving Newmarket on its way to Sharon. Breaking news on CB24 Breakfast, getting word of a serious crash on the 401. Right now, a truck has jackknifed. All eastbound lanes are completely blocked off. We just learned that hazardous chemicals may have been spilled. Just over the police radio now, they're evacuating the area. Let's open the phone line. Should trucks like these be allowed on Toronto Road? And what a mess. Traffic is back up for miles. We're tracking the wind speeds right now, and it doesn't look like smoke from the crash will reach the east end. We'll bring you the latest on this story only on Toronto's Breaking News, CP24. Disney on Ice presents Princess Classics. It's the seven most enchanting stories of all time in one amazing live show. Join Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, The Little Mermaid, Aladdin and Jasmine, and more for a dazzling celebration of romance, fun, and adventure. Live in your hometown. Get tickets today and let the happy endings begin. We've iced the price. Tickets starting at just $15. Playing December 18th through 27th. Hello! I'm Russell Oliver, and I buy your used jewelry. If you have gold rings, gold earrings, I'll give you cash. If you have diamonds, bring them to me. I'll give you cash. I love gold. Bring me your old gold, and I'll give you cash. Because... I'm the cash man. Toronto's breaking news. CP24 weather. 12-12, a uh, detailed look at the weather forecast live to you, CP24's 1010. Nalini Sharma, you are a positive 10. Oh, thank you, Anne. Uh, right now we have a temperature that sits at uh, minus 5. Uh, it's improved, thank goodness for that. And we do have... Uh, Unfortunately, a little bit of flurry activity that we have to deal with into the weekend, but it's not a storm system. It's nothing that's uh, major. It's just flurry. So no complaining from us here in the city. Hopefully we have uh, a cloudy afternoon. There's a bit of sunshine that's starting to peek through. So that's pleasant. The afternoon uh, high at minus three, still a wind chill on top of that. So if you are heading out to any of the uh, torch run locations through the afternoon hours, make sure you are dressed, of course, warmly. And then for tonight, if you're uh, out on the town, the overnight low at minus six. Now, Saturday, Sunday, temperatures will range between minus two to minus four. Flurry activity on Saturday, about two centimeters on the ground. Trace amounts of snow expected for your Monday at minus two. Sunshine for your Tuesday, minus four. So there you go. That's your five day, your weekend forecast. I'd say it's fairly nice considering that uh, winter has not officially arrived yet. That happens and on Monday at 1247 p.m. I will mark that on my day timer. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it feels like winter already. So. I know. It does. But Thank you very much, Nalini. You're welcome. Remember, we have weather and traffic on our screen all the time. You can also log on to CP24.com. CP24 Traffic. Traffic uh, details. Let's go live right now to Amber Pay in the CP24 Traffic Center. Hi, Amber. Hello there, Anne. Unfortunately, I do not have good news for commuters who use the uh, GO Train line, the Bramalee line. We have some big problems with a gas leak, which is west of Etobicoke North GO Station. And because of that gas leak, they have had to suspend the trains on that Georgetown GO Train line. So my suggestion for you, if that is your line, is to go to gotransit.com for all of the 
the information. We do have a lot of trains that have been canceled there, and we'll try to get some more information for you coming up. Major routes, not too bad, just congestion out there. The Don Valley Parkway, definitely one of them. Both directions between Lawrence and the 401. It is slow moving. Also, along the 401, both the express and collector lanes, anywhere from about the Kipling area towards the 400, and that is because of an earlier collision that has cleared out of the way. We'll take a look elsewhere across the top of the 401 through Young Street. Not all that bad. The Gardner westbound, it looks to be in good shape through the Spadina area. We'll take a look at things through Dufferin. Not the best camera. My apologies. We'll try Jameson instead. No, that doesn't work either. There we go. Yay. Through Jameson, that seems to be fine. The QEW still busy both directions through Oakville and uh, Burlington, and that is just congestion as well. And All right, Amber, thanks so much. You're welcome. Hey, Stephen LeDrew, I was just looking at the uh, torch schedule, and a fellow by the name of Paul Epton, Stephen, is mm -hmm. now uh, running with that Olympic flame on Main Street in Newmarket, and it probably is the thrill of his life. And let's take a look at it. And, of course, you can see it in the traffic box to the right of our screen. Isn't that exciting? And it's just been great to see the outpouring of emotion, affection uh, and passion for this nation, for this uh, Olympic relay, uh, as it has come to town and, and really has embraced all of us. And everybody's embraced it, Anne, and you're absolutely right. The excitement has not only not waned, it is building. Yesterday was a huge day in Toronto. You were on it. Uh, Melissa was on it. Last night, Nathan Phillips Square. Amazing emotion oh, and excitement about it. And look. <laughs> look at the dance. Look I at love this. it. You know, but I know that we've been, going. we've been looking at various uh, uh, movements uh, that uh, the, the runners have, and uh, you know, we're going to continue to cut together all of the great moves. That one was hysterical. It was, and you know, some, you call them <laughs> runners, but some of them are walkers. And yes. We had people here yesterday saying, I'm not going to run. I want to last as long as it should last. Yes. And I'm going to go very, very slowly. You go one step forward, two steps back, and you wave all the way through it. <laughs> it really is great. And they're so proud as you were yesterday. It's an amazing day. We have more and more people joining us. We have two amazing young men. One, no, both of them actually have had the torch right now. So when we come back, we're going to be talking with them about what it was like to carry the torch and the emotion along the way. Stay with us. It's a good show. Now get Toronto's breaking news anywhere you go with CP24 Mobile. Weather, headlines, and exclusive traffic times. Stay connected with CP24.com on your mobile. Introducing U Box It, the world's first disposable junk removal bin. The easy, affordable way to clean up junk. U Box It is perfect for renovations, basement, garage, and yard cleanups. Fits in most office and condo service elevators. This big yellow box is easy to set up and holds as much as a standard pickup truck. That's amazing. One low fixed price includes delivery, pickup, and disposal. Order by phone 1 877 7 U Box It or go to uboxit.com. U Box It, we pick it up, you save. There are millions of mortgages in Canada. If you have one, you have a Manulife One number. Take Mike, for example. Mike and his wife, Sarah, have a mortgage, line of credit, car loan, and several savings and checking accounts. Simply by combining all their inefficient accounts into the revolutionary Manulife One, Mike calculated they could save $46,980 in interest and own their home years sooner. Discover your Manulife One number today at manulifeone.ca. Michael Bublé in a special television event. Here we go. You better be good. He's cool. Be cool. I'm way more nervous about the ping pong match than I am about playing Madison Square Garden. Candid, there is no try. There is do or do not. That was Yoda. Charismatic. Michael Bublé meets Madison Square Garden tonight at 10, 9 central on CTV. This program is brought to you by ctvolympics.ca, Canada's most comprehensive Olympic site, featuring exclusive video and the latest news on Vancouver 2010. CP24, Toronto's breaking news. CP24, breaking news. 
It is at 1219. We've got breaking news on that problem on the go line. More details live now to producer Stephanie Smythe at our breaking news desk. What have you got for us, Steph? Well, and just to remind you, a couple minutes ago, Amber told you that the uh, go transit to the go line is uh, because of a gas leak just blocked off right now west of Etobicoke North Go Station. Uh, train service on the Georgetown line is temporarily suspended because of that. We just spoke with Tony Vell at Toronto Police. Here's what he tells us. Uh, this gas situation is at Carling View Drive and Entrance Road. Road. A crew was apparently digging at uh, the depth of about 70 feet and smelled gas. Now, as it turns out, they did not hit a gas line, but there was a pocket of gas, methane gas, in that area. A hazmat